the majority of human history is widely unknown and filled with a strange variety of mysterious and unexplainable occurrences that baffle many academics in these fields, even in the modern age. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at some incredible historical discoveries. The Star Child Skull, the most damaging hoax to the alien community. For many years now, there has been a theory in the alien community that has been put forward as to why the extraterrestrial awareness movement is having a massive difficulty in getting its feet off the ground. Despite so many people attempting to come forward with their own abduction witness accounts, the incredible amount of annual witness reports of unidentified flying objects, and overwhelming pieces of evidence as to the viability and validity of an extraterrestrial intervention on our planet, there seems to be equal effort in part to destroy the movement as it grows. It appears that in their own way, the best way to delegitimize a movement is to try to join it and make it look as if the movement itself is only inhabited by the people of whom have absolutely no idea what they are talking about. This is none more so evident than in the case of the Starchild Skull. The Starchild Skull was a supposed extraterrestrial skull that was recovered back in 1999, when a paranormalist known as Lloyd Pye claimed to have come into contact with a young couple from El Paso, Texas in February of that year of whom were in possession of the extraterrestrial skull. Despite Lloyd Pye receiving and becoming aware of the skull back in 1999, however, the skull itself did not come into the world of relevancy until late 2003 for reasons otherwise not specified. According to the young couple of which Lloyd Pye received the extraterrestrial skull from, the skull itself was claimed to have been uncovered back in 1930 from an old mine tunnel located roughly 100 miles southwest of the city of Chihuahua in Mexico. Unfortunately, this story cannot be confirmed and the couple of whom supposedly provided the skull as evidence cannot be found for comment. The problem to which Lloyd Pye claims is nothing more than the couple's need for anonymity. The skull's sudden popularity in 2003 led to it quickly being the centre of attention for skeptics and the scientific community of whom agreed to undergo DNA testing of the skull to uncover whether or not it was truly extraterrestrial. Obviously enough, the DNA results came back proving not only that the skull was a human child and the entire stunt pulled was nothing more than a hoax, but that the skull of a child of whom had passed away from hydrocephalus, a rare birth defect in which a child experiences a large amount of cranial fluid pressure that causes the still-forming skull to bulge outwards, giving it an enlarged appearance. This led to not only the extraterrestrial community being made into a laughing stock, but any other further efforts into DNA testing for additional extraterrestrial claims to be blocked by scientific establishments that perceived the endeavour as nothing more than a waste of time and resources. There is a startling connection here to be made, however, as well as the main argument for why the Starchild Skull and its popularity was nothing more than a stunt to delegitimize the extraterrestrial community and the evidence gathered for extraterrestrial visitation. At the same time that this Starchild Skull began making headlines all around the world, a more legitimate discovery was taking place led by the lead researchers involved with the promotion of the disclosure project spearheaded by a Dr. Stephen Greer. Dr. Stephen Greer had made an incredible discovery that pertained to a strange recovered artifact that was described as being a small humanoid creature that had been mummified and buried behind an old church decades prior to its discovery. That was circling black market traders of which was then recovered by alien enthusiasts to undergo DNA testing to prove its legitimacy as an extraterrestrial entity. As of today though, the Starchild Skull is deemed a fake by scientific outlets. The Rosetta Stone The Rosetta Stone is seen as one of the single most greatest discoveries that has resonated with changes all around the world to uncover the secrets that many at the time believed would never be understood. Discovered in 1799, the Rosetta Stone proved to be the missing key required to decipher the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics as well as the mysteries of the ancient Egyptian civilization as a whole. The stone itself had three separate written languages inscribed upon it that was believed to have been created back in 196 BC and told the story of the deeds that had been accomplished by the pharaoh at that time that was believed to have been written by the high priests of Egypt. Using these translations as the basis for the language, experts began translating decades of hieroglyphic scriptures discovered all around ancient Egypt that before this point could not be understood. 
Not only did this lead to an explosion of knowledge in the Egyptologist community, but helped to shed incredible light into one of the oldest civilizations on the planet. Many experts believe that without this incredible discovery, we would still be no closer to translating the ancient Egyptian language even in the modern day. The Dogu Figurines of Japan Made during the ancient prehistoric period of Japan that goes as far back as 16,000 years ago, the Dogu figurines have fascinated theorists and the ancient astronaut community as hard evidence of the existence of extraterrestrials during the times of our ancestors. The Dogu figurines depict small humanoid creatures that appear to be visually similar to that of the small grey alien sightings of the modern era. The purpose of the Dogu are widely unknown, but they have been found all around the Japanese island and have consistently dated to be somewhere around 14,000 to 16,000 years old, which is four to 6,000 years before the first human civilizations began to arise. Many members of the UFO community believe that these small figures could be evidence of extraterrestrials influencing the ancient past given their remarkable similarities between modern-day sightings. The Ancient Megalithic City of Machu Picchu Referred to as the Lost City of the Incas, the ancient megalithic city of Machu Picchu had evaded the discovery of many Spanish explorers during the Spanish conquest in the 16th century. Although many were aware of the existence of the large city, since it had been abandoned by the Incas centuries in the past, the truth and the location regarding the site was completely shrouded in mystery. In 1911, the city was rediscovered by an American historian known as Hiram Bingham, who brought the site to international attention. The undisturbed location not only gave the clearest view into the lives of the indigenous tribes, but also led to many other conspiracy theories and revelations regarding the technological progress of the people. The city appeared to be a large megalithic structure using stones cut to such precise measurements and in massive sizes that it led many to question the construction capabilities previously imagined by the local populations. In 2007, the site was voted to be one of the new seven wonders of the world in a worldwide internet poll and has been featured on several episodes of the Ancient Aliens television show on the History Channel. The Lost City of Gold El Dorado. Argued by many different historians and archaeologists from around the world that this city is nothing more than an old myth and legend for amateur treasure hunters and adventuring enthusiasts, the lost city of gold known as El Dorado is still widely debated in its existence and purpose in history. This has changed in recent times as a variety of long-believed mythical cities built by the many different tribes of Native Americans have been discovered hidden deep in the South American jungles that otherwise could not be spotted by even the best satellite technology of the modern era. This does not mean that the city has only been a difficult task for modern-day archaeologists and researchers, as myths of the city has led countless men throughout the 16th and 17th century to a hopeless end. Originally, legends told of an entire functioning city built from the ground up out of pure gold and fabulous jewels located somewhere at the tops of the remote Andes Mountains in the region that is now present-day Colombia. Interestingly enough, when the first European settlers visited the region, they found the remnants of a tribe located at Lake Guatavita that would celebrate every year by conducting a strange ceremony. This tribe believed there to be a god living at the bottom of the lake and so would cover a man in gold dust before having him throw all the gold and precious jewels they had harvested that year into the lake in order to appease the god that lived in the water. This ritual continued for what was believed to be centuries. However, when the settlers searched the lake, they only found a small amount of gold and treasure that should have more than filled the area. It was then believed that perhaps the city of gold called El Dorado, which is a name that refers to a gilded man covered from head to toe in gold dust, was created by the gold in the lake. A few centuries thereafter, many went in search for this mysterious city, but nothing more was ever found. Since archaeologists in the modern era have combed the lake, they found intricately made gold artifacts and jewels that many ancient astronaut theorists argue could only have been created with knowledge of advanced technologies. This has led many to speculate that perhaps the gods living in the water were real beings and that they could have been the original creators of the City of Gold hidden somewhere in the Andes Mountains. Still, 
nothing more has been discovered in recent years, and given the dangers of the region and the political instability of the government, further exploration of the area is nearly impossible to accomplish. But what do you make of these five historical discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.